Welcome to our lesson on energy flow and ecosystems, focusing on photosynthesis and cellular respiration. All living organisms require energy to survive and function. The main source of energy is the sun. There are four types of energy. The first is energy that travels through empty space called radiant energy. In addition to radiant energy, there is light energy, which is visible forms of radiant energy, such as visible light and UV rays, and thermal energy, which warms the atmosphere, evaporates water, and produces winds. And then there is chemical energy, which is used by all organisms to perform essential functions for life. We are going to look at how organisms use this energy. It all happens in the cells, and all living organisms have cells. There are two types, those that exist only in plants and those that exist only in animals. Notice the difference in their structures. Now how do organisms convert light energy into chemical energy? It's all thanks to an important process called photosynthesis. Some organisms can carry out photosynthesis all on their own. They are called producers and are usually plants. On the other hand, there are many organisms that cannot photosynthesize on their own and obtain their energy from consuming other organisms. These are called consumers and include animals and humans. The process of photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast. These chloroplasts only exist in plant cells. And this is why plants, aka producers, are the only organisms that can photosynthesize. In photosynthesis, producers take carbon dioxide, water, and light energy from the atmosphere to produce sugar and oxygen. The sugar produced in this process contains stored chemical energy. In other words, the sugar is the form in which chemical energy is stored. The energy can be converted into starch and stored in the roots, stems, leaves, and seeds of plants to be used later. It can also be converted into other energy molecules. The next question is how can organisms access this stored chemical energy? They do this through a process called cellular respiration. Only plants and producers can carry out photosynthesis, but all living things can practice cellular respiration, including bacteria, fungi, plants, and animals. The process of cellular respiration takes place in the mitochondria. The mitochondria exists in both plant and animal cells, meaning that both producers and consumers can carry out cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is exactly the opposite of photosynthesis. It takes oxygen and sugar produced from photosynthesis and converts it into carbon dioxide, water, and ATP energy. What is the role of this ATP energy? This ATP energy is what fuels our system and allows us to carry out our daily functions. Overall, photosynthesis and cellular respiration work hand-in-hand -hand to cycle carbon and oxygen in an ecosystem. They complement each other. In the big picture, it's light energy, water, and carbon dioxide used by producers to produce oxygen. This oxygen, along with sugars from plants, are used by consumers to conduct cellular respiration, producing carbon dioxide, which is then reused by producers to keep the cycle going. In short, photosynthesis and cellular respiration are a combination of chemical reactions that are essential for the survival of life on Earth. Created using Powtoon.